Hi, Sister Lois. I'm Larry Kelly, and uh, I want to let you know that a lot of our folks here have uh, had an opportunity just to share some greetings to you. You're loved in every pew in here. We've just got wonderful people who love you and are so thankful for the wonderful ministry that you had. When I thought of the Lois Cutshaw, to be honest with you, the first thing I thought of was homecoming. And I thought about your butterscotch pies. Nobody in the world ever made a butterscotch pie better than you did. But I can tell you something even better. I was going into a classroom and hearing you teach the Word of God. You've always been a great inspiration to the Kellys, uh, Larry and Gaylene, and so many, many, many people in this church. Everyone that comes through the door felt welcome because of folks like you. And they felt inspired to follow the Word of God. I hope you enjoy these different things that will be coming up in the video. These folks love you, and there's so many, many others that maybe some other time we'll get them to sing you a song or send you another note as we go along. I hope you enjoy these DVDs. I want to thank the Lord for you and all of the great things that you mean to me. God bless you, and we love you. Hello, Miss Lewis. Chris Bowers. I know you know my family. My daddy was Tommy Bowers, uh, the damn room, Adelie Bowers from Raytown. Uh, I, I know uh, I didn't start here until 2010 at Limestone, but everywhere I look, I can see uh, the foundation of this church uh, that through you and your husband uh, had built and had uh, done a wonderful job for so many years and doing God's work and giving to others and giving to the Lord. And uh, we just want to say thank you and let you know that we love you. And uh, I was told that your favorite song is How Great Thou Art. So if you will, uh, if you allow me, I would like to try to sing that for you here today. God bless you, and may he keep you in his arms forever. <clears throat> oh, Lord, my God, when I am awesome one, Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy path throughout the universe this Savior God to 
When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart? Then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim, My God, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. God bless you. Hello, Mama Lois. Hope your day's going well. I'd like to read you a couple here from within the church. First one here is from Rick and Vicki Moe. Mama Lois, we, share, we sure appreciate everything that you have done for us uh, throughout the years. May God bless you and keep you. We love you, Rick and Vicki Moe. Here's one from Janice Shipley. It says, Lois, happy belated birthday. I love you very much. Thank you for giving so much to Limestone Free Will Baptist Church. And again, that's from Janice Shipley. And the last one here is from me and Miss Sherry Ledford. Dennis and Sherry Ledford. As you can see, my hair has turned quite gray since probably the last time that I saw you. Uh, but we're doing well and trust that you're doing well. We appreciate all the memories that you have enriched in us over the years through your teaching uh, as we were a young couple in your adult class. Uh, how that you took us in and you nurtured us and helped us to be the Christians we are today. And we appreciate you and love you so much. And you and Alfred were a great team. Uh, and again, thank you and hope you're having a great day. And God bless you. Love you. Hi, Sister Lois. This is Marion and David Reese. And I just want to let you know that we love you with all of our hearts. And we pray for you. And I appreciate all that you have done for Limestone over the years and I want to read this and this is actually from us that David has written down Sister Cutshaw you are missed greatly and we love you and appreciate all you have done for the Lord praying for you we love you and that's from David and myself Sister Lois this is from Geneva Willis it says hi Lois I pray that you're feeling well today I see your picture on Facebook with Kathy and Leanne I saw where you had a birthday on September the 17th. I want to say happy birthday again. I love you. Hugs and kisses. And that's from Geneva Willis. We do love you. And we are grateful for what you've done for the Lord. And we keep praying for you. May the Lord keep you in his arms and console you in Jesus' name. Hey Lois, this is Phyllis Brummett. And this is a note from Jeff Hux. And he said, hi, Lois, I love you. Thank you for being my second mom. And that was from Jeff Hugs. And I have another one here from Joe Callahan. And he said, Lois, thank you for shining your Christian light. You are a wonderful blessing to everyone you meet. You and preacher Alfred Cushaw have been a great influence to everyone who came through the doors of Limestone. And we all love you, Lois. And that was from Joe Callahan. And Lois is fellas from it was Bailey. Uh, I love you and I appreciate what you have been in my life because you have really made me a better Christian just by being a teenager in your class and all the love that you've given me and encouraged me and to even watching you to be so that I can even be a better uh, preacher's wife and I appreciate that Lois. Thank you so much. I love you. Lois, this is from Kathy Lamb. She says, Lois, 
thanks for always making me feel welcome into your home as a young girl. I felt the love and still do through Jesus in your life. God bless. And this is from Kathy Lamb. Lois, I'm Roger Dickerson. I've grown a beard. Uh, you haven't seen me since then. So uh, just wanted to let you know I appreciate all that you did, the teachings that you uh, uh, did in our class and for all the times that we came to your, your home, uh, preacher, and you were so receptive. I uh, just want to thank you for the Christian life and all that you all have taught us and tried to express to us in each and every way. Lord, we just want to thank you for all that you did. We love you and we continue to pray for you. And I'll let Peggy speak. <clears throat> This is from Sam and Jeanette Callahan. Lois, your wisdom and friendship has meant so much to us. Visits, long talks, hugs, Christian love will never be forgotten. And again, it's from Sam and Jeanette Callahan. And Lois, this is Peggy Dickerson with white hair now. So uh, just want to tell you how much we love you and appreciate you again for all that you did for us and being the godly pastor's wife and uh, model that you were uh, all those years and we love you. Lois, this is from Sherry Sherman. With encouragement from my mom, Juanita Shelton, about 1992, along with my son, Justin Harris, we began attending Limestone Fruitville Baptist Church. I was directed to your Sunday school class. I didn't know anyone. Because of your sweet and loving spirit, I continued coming to church. During a revival and the altar call was given and with a hug from you, I went to the altar and you prayed with me and I asked Jesus to come into my heart. Thank you for your love and service to the Lord. And again, she said, I love you. This is from Sherry Sherman. Miss Lois, this is for Jerry and Edna Dixon. And they say, Miss Lois, you sure have been a blessing to us and our family. We love you, and may God bless you, Jerry and Edna Dixon. This one is from Jessica Hartley. Mama Lois, I just wanted to let you know how much I love and appreciate you. Even though you were Mama to my cousins, you treated me like one of your own grandkids. You've loved me, mentored me, and gave me a godly example of a Christian woman to live by. I'm praying for you, your family, and your caregivers. Hope to see you soon. Jessica Bailey Hartley. And Miss Lois, this is Rose Carter. Just wanted to tell you I love you. Hope you're doing good. And may God bless you. Rose Carter. Good morning, Lois, uh, Mama Lois. It's so good to talk to you, even though we have to do it this way. And I want to read you a little something from Willie Hensley. It says, Sister Lois, uh, we go back a long, long time, but you are still my dear sister in Christ. We just keep trucking along, and someday we can be uh, together where we won't be part parted ever again. I truly love you, and I wish I could come and see you, Willie Hensley. And Lois, I, I want to tell you how much uh, uh, me and Paul and our, our boys and family love you, and we miss you, and we miss Preacher Cutshaw, and we thank you so much for all the wonderful years that you loved us. And thank you, Lord, wouldn't be uh, Mama Lois, because I wouldn't be here today. The one for you and the preacher picking us up at, around that curve at Chucky. And Father, uh, Lois, I thank you so much for your blessings and the many things you've done for all of us girls here at this church when our parents didn't come, but you and Brother, Brother Cutshaw were our mom and dad in Christ. We never can thank you enough, but one day we'll get to hug you again and walk together with Jesus. We love you and we thank you and hope that you're doing really, really good. And we 
hope we can see you soon. Love you. Hi, Lois. This is from Shirley Foshi, and she says, Hi, sister. I miss being with you, but one day we will be with each other and all of our loved ones. I love you so much. May God bless you and your family. Shirley Foshi. And this is from me, Mama Lois. I sure miss seeing you. I miss spending all those nights with you and those long talks we had. We spent a lot of nights together, and I miss coming down to see you too. And I love you. Miss you, Mama Lois. Hi, sweet Lois. I want to read you to something from Wanda Fox. This is from Wanda Fox. She says, I miss seeing your smiling face. I hope you've had a great birthday on the 17th. I am praying for you and love you. And again, that was from Wanda Fox. And now from me, if you don't recognize this face, I used to be one of the little tweed girls. I'm a bigger tweed girl now. This is Vivian. I'm Vivian Pierce now. And you know what? I still love you as much as I did back then. I miss seeing you. I'm going to cry. I miss seeing your sweet face. And you're still loved. Even though you're not here with us every service, we're still loved and we miss you. This is a message from Clarence and Debbie Green. Uh, they say well, you are a wonderful person and we miss you lots. Love you. That's from Clarence and Debbie Green. Lois, I'm Patsy McKee. I'm formerly Patsy Tweed. I'm the mother of the Tweed girls. <laughs> I, I love you and I miss you. Every time I come to church, I miss seeing your smiling face. Love you. God bless you and keep you always. 